Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here, and I am here with you guys today to finally tell you how I really get my hair like this. You know what I mean? I feel like this video is pretty much long overdue. Ignore that. Yeah, I feel like it's long overdue because like I've used these Holy Grail products. Mind you, they're Holy Grail products to me. Not to you, not to she, to me, okay? If they work for me, it does not mean it will work for you. I know you guys have heard that cliche saying from almost every natural out there probably, but honestly, it's true because what works for one person might not work for another. I've spoken to different people about these products. I've tried to recommend these products to people who have asked me to, but they all kind of said the same thing after they tried the products and they're like, honestly, uh, it's a no for me. It doesn't work for me. That's okay. That is totally fine. But guess what? It works for me. So I'm going to show you guys today my holy grail products that work for me. Yeah, so these four products have not failed me at all, at all, at all. They have literally been my holy grail for at least, I want to say later 2019. I discovered them just randomly in the store. I just kind of picked them up and trusted their abilities and then... All of a sudden, I'm getting some nice looking twist outs, you know what I mean? So, a natural hair journey is really just a trial and error process. You just have to try out different products and see what works for you. Because, again, what works for you might not work for somebody else. Just want to pinpoint that. But I wouldn't trade my hair for anything, okay? Except for longer hair. That's all. But anyways, um, <laughs> no, I'm very thankful that my hair has grown to this length. Honestly, I have God to thank and those braids to thank. But God is the reason for those braids, so... God to thank and I might just have to put my hair back in those braids. I know I said I was gonna say goodbye to protective styling via single braids, but they do work wonders guys, especially if they're jumbo. It has to be the right type of protective style. Let me remind you, I'll take you back to this video. I know some of you guys have seen it, but I'll remind you of it again because I did explain that certain protective styles do protect your hair and do 100% grow your hair at an accelerated rate or at a normal rate, I should say. So I'm probably gonna put them right back into braids so I can have a bit of a bigger afro and play with my curls even more. You know, like, can you imagine curls like these, but this size, and then this size, and then this, oh my gosh, y'all would just fall in love with me. Y'all ain't ready for that type of J. Honestly, you're not, and I'm not either. So, <laughs> frankly, we're just gonna have to wait, okay? So let me show you my holy grail products. So I know you guys probably can guess what they are, but I'm gonna show you anyway for those of you in the back who don't know. Stay Sofro for extra dry hair. Not that my hair is extra dry, but you know. I want it to be extra moist, right? So this is what I use as my base to keep it extra moist, okay? I wouldn't say it's a detangling leave-in spray because I don't find that I'm able to detangle my hair very well with it. But it definitely, definitely, definitely 100% holds moisture in my hair when I leave it in as a base. Or even when I spray it in after I've already done my twists. This definitely keeps my hair locked into moisture for however long I need it to. Maybe not too long, like I do refresh with this at least a few times a week. But um, yeah, this has never failed me. Funny enough, my mom has actually used this exact same hairspray when she was a kid and she said it really, really worked for her hair. So maybe it's just genetics. Like maybe me and my mom's hair type responds to this type of conditioner really well. But again, maybe it might not work for you. Maybe it might, who knows? You'll have to try it out, right? <laughs> That is on you, boo-boo. <laughs> Kidding, not really. Anyways, so this one is called the Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. It is their Jamaican Black Castor Oil brand. This is the leave-in conditioner that I use kind of as a base as well because it really, really helps for me to detangle my hair. Like it really, really helps to detangle my hair and gives it lots of slip so that I can move through my strands a little easier. But yeah, this goes before my styling cream, which is the next one I'm about to show you, which has been my holy, 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 holy grail. More than all of these products, kind of. But anywho, in terms of styling, this is my holy grail for sure. So this is called the Twist and Define Cream by As I Am. So I like this dark brown brand i guess they do have other colors and as i am too they have like a reddish and that they have like a bluish but this is the one i stick to i stick to their all brown brand absolutely absolutely swear by i swear by this one because it really holds in the moisture as well like not only does it define my curls 
so much, but it also moisturizes them. This is how the inside looks. So it's 16 ounces. They do have an eight ounce version of it too, but honestly, I don't think that's worth it. Cause for me, I'm gonna finish that eight ounce in one sitting, okay? So I'm gonna need something like this, which is gonna last me. That's why I got two of them. <laughs> yeah, so this pretty much defines and moisturizes my curls. And then I follow up with my avocado oil. Honestly, I didn't even get this from a hair store. I actually got it from the grocery store. If you guys are from Rexdale, you probably know about Besco. Um, that's exactly where I got this avocado oil from. I think it was just $9.99. It has pretty good ingredients in it too. It does say it's ideal for salads, dressings, and marinades, but obviously that's not what we're using it for, okay? We are using it for our hair. So the reason I picked it out is because it also says it's rich in omega-3 and 6. I heard that there's some type of benefit that omega serves for your hair. So that's kind of what drew me to this product even more. Not just the avocado part because we all know that avocados are pretty moisturizing for natural hair as well. Even like the raw avocados, if you turn those into deep conditioners, then it can be pretty beneficial for the moisture retention in your hair. For me, I'm kind of lazy with this whole DIY world. So I opted for avocado oil from the grocery store. So And also avocados are pretty expensive. So I don't really want to keep buying them, you know, I mean just to make some hair products so we gotta hold our curls somehow right so in that case our next product that I consider my holy grail is the don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel so this one is from Aunt Jackie's I would well I was gonna say I wouldn't say it's all that elongating but then again my hair is touching my shoulders so run with that information how you will this this is what holds my curls in place for however long I need them to. To be honest, before I took my hair out and developed this twist out, I actually had my twists in for at least three to four weeks before taking it out to make it look like this. So the fact that my curls were able to last those three to four weeks speaks volumes for this product. So it really held on to that definition for as long as I needed it to. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So just a recap, my first holy grail that I presented was the Stay Soft Fro. And then there was Strengthen, Leave-In, and Restore Conditioner, the JBCO line from Shea Moisture. And then there's my mm, 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 styling cream <laughs> from As I Am. It's the Twist Defining Cream in all brown. Remember, all brown. Well, then again, that's if you guys want to use these products. The As I Am Twist Defining Cream, which literally does exactly as the title says. It really defines your twists, which then turn into twist outs. So, yeah, love this one. My avocado oil, my... Don't shrink curling jelly from Aunt Jackie. And those are all my holy grails. <laughs> all right, so that's all you have it, guys. Or that's all we have here today, guys. So five products, I guess. So all of these products I pretty much put into my hair after washing it. So after I shampoo and then I deep condition and then I rinse out, that's when I put in my Stay Soft Fro, my uh, strengthen and restore leave-in, my twist defining cream, my avocado oil to seal in all that moisture, and then my gel to hold the curls in place. And then it produces this. Hee <laughs> hee. So again, what works for me might not work for you. Take this with a grain of salt and run with it. <laughs> Eat it up. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys again for tuning in today. It's been a busy week, but thank you for bearing with me. I'm really just trying to get out as much content as I can because I know some of you guys were probably waiting on me and I do apologize for that, but like my life is a little hectic right now. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. I did tell you guys before that I am in nursing and I just wanted to ask, would you guys be interested in me giving you like study tips or like a day in the life of nursing diary, like something like that? Like let me know what you guys want. Like, do you want nurse related content as well as the natural hair content? Or should I just stick to the natural hair content? Let me know in the comments below or in the Instagram poll right here. Let me know because <sighs> your girl feels guilty, okay? I don't like to leave YouTube behind and my content stuff behind. Like, not that it's my fault, but I just want to give myself a fair chance in terms of um, getting myself out there and stuff and making all of this make sense, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys want like nurse related content, such as a day in the life of a nurse diary. You know, I can just kind of verbalize my diary entries regarding how my nursing placement went or regarding study tips or stress level, how to manage your stress during 
um, a nursing program, things like that, you know? Like, obviously I won't get rid of the natural hair content because I'm a natural for life, for sure. Like, I signed up for this and I'm prepared for everything that it comes with. So yeah, that's gonna stay there. But like, do you guys want the nursing content on top of all that? Let me know in the comments below or let me know in the poll right here if I post this on Instagram. But yeah, I just genuinely want to know what you guys would be interested in hearing about, I guess. But yeah, all right, that's it. <laughs> So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Just a reminder again that what works for one person will not work for another. So feel free to try any of these products out that I have displayed to you, but just keep in mind that, hey, it might not be your forte. Thanks again guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye. Oh, 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 the pretty girl.